Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. What you see on the uh, video screen right now is blackness, is darkness, because the individuals you see are about to be uh, about to spew a bunch of darkness and confusion. Um, these men who uh, were formerly of Great Millstone, one of them were, were, was an elder. Um, they ha are, are just completely continuing to go down a worse path. You know, and this is what happens. The scriptures say that evil men shall wax worse and worse. And they're definitely waxing worse and worse okay and uh you constantly hear new madness from these people um just like how uh uh tried and refined the guy from chicago you know used to be part of the chicago camp uh nazariala right that used to be his name um he he basically was constantly getting worse and worse all right and all of a sudden there was no such thing as uh as the nuclear missiles uh, the the the, uh, the Vatican was the uh, was Babylon the Great. So he just continued to get worse and worse because that's the Holy Spirit completely leaving him, and the Holy Spirit has completely left these guys. And uh, I'm about to play what these guys are saying. What these guys are saying now, and uh, yeah, we were making a jokes of it. You know, was it yesterday or the day before when that the video first resurfaced? First surfaced. Uh, because it's complete madness, but I'm gonna play this for you, Akim. So Akim, it's late, you know. Um, I'm gonna play this for you, Akim, so you can see. You saw those two bald-headed knuckleheads from uh, Fort Worth. They okay, hold on. Give me one second. I want to make sure you can hear it. Because my Bluetooth was on. I want to make sure you can hear it without the Bluetooth. Let me bring that back. Make sure you can hear that without the Bluetooth. You saw those two bald-headed knuckleheads from uh, Fort Worth. They mentioned names that wasn't supposed to be out in public. See, but jokes on them and jokes on Satan. Because we got a treat for you, brothers, when it comes to these names. We've withheld the heavenly names and knowledge from you purposely because our Lord and the Holy Spirit told us to do it. Until Satan make his move against God's anointing. Y'all can go watch Fort Worth video and uh, they bring out the names that we told them in secret to keep. And when you watch it, you will see that these are very stupid. And I mean incredibly stupid, wicked men. So, with that being said, Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. And we call the Holy Spirit as the names. The earthly names of what we call the Most High is Yahweh. We call our Lord and I in His earthly name in the Hebrew that we know of Yahweh Shah. So, so he's saying that there's a there's a earth there's an earthly name. Of the heavenly father. But then there's a heavenly name. Of the heavenly father. Which is complete. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, out, that's uh, opposite of what the scriptures say. Um, matter of fact. Let me get a scripture right now. Just to cut that madness. This is uh, Zechariah 14 and 7. It says. But it shall be one day. Which shall be known to Yahweh, Not day nor night. 
but it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light meaning that we're going to have that wisdom and knowledge in the kingdom there's not going to be any darkness like them, like what these guys are spewing everyone is going to know the truth the light represents the truth and it shall be in that day that living waters shall go out from jerusalem hold on did not the lord say that uh, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said that out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So the elect already have this living water. They already have this light. Okay. It says half of them toward the former, toward the former sea and half of them toward the hinder sea in summer and in winter shall it be. And, and Yahweh shall be king over all the earth <clears throat> in that day. Right, so it says Yahweh. When you look up the word, uh, the the when you look up the uh, Lord in all caps, that word there is Yahweh. Okay, okay. In fact, let's look it up real quick. So, show you. All right, Yahweh. You see, Yahweh. That is the name of the heavenly Father. That was the name that was given to Moses. That's what's written in the scriptures, in the Hebrew. All right. And Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. And in that day shall there be one Yahweh. Okay, not one, whatever this guy's about to say. All right. And his name one. And it's telling you the name right here. All right. So there's not going to be an earthly name and a heavenly name where the heathen only get the earthly name, but then the Israelites get the heavenly name. That's confusion, man. That is complete confusion. Because if the Lord told you to call upon his name, why would, he, why would he not give you his name? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he hide his name from you? You see? Let's get um Acts 4 and 12, man. I'll start at 11. Or 10, rather. This is Acts 4. And verse 10, it says, Be it known unto you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of Nazareth, not what this guy's about to say, this ma this crazy stuff he's about to say, which doesn't even sound like Hebrew words. Okay, it says, <clears throat> whom ye crucified, whom the Most High raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. Okay. So it's saying this by the name of Yahweh Hamashiach of Nazareth. He, he the, the name that he was born with, and they just added on uh, Hamashiach, which means he is the anointed. Yahweh Shai, his name was called Yahweh uh from from uh, from before he was before he was born. Really, the angel told her, okay, the name of that he, he would be called, okay. So it wasn't a heavenly name that they that they were casting out demons and healing people it was Yahweh Shai it says this is the stone which was was set at not of you builders which is become the head of the corner neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved so there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved so we have we are we are going to be saved through what names the names of yahweh and the names of yahweh shai okay they're they're, they're only names you know the heavenly name and the no and by the way you have to know those names for you iuic guys you have to know those names now you don't oh we're gonna learn it when the lord comes back no no lord you gotta learn those names right now if you don't have that by the time the Lord comes back, you're none of his. This is Malachi 4 and 2. It says, but unto you that fear my name, you can only fear it if you know it, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. So you have to know it before. Okay. You have to know it before. All right. Because that's who he's, he's coming for. That's who he's coming with the healing in his wings for. Those that fear his name already. So um, let's get real quick Proverbs 30. And I'm going to let these bug outs speak.
Because that's what they are, a bunch of bugged out individuals. And you can see they have a very dark countenance to them. Right? They're out. They're out of there, man. This is uh, Proverbs 30 and 4. And I don't see them coming back. They're out of there. Okay? This is Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Okay? And we, could, we know the name of the Lord. Okay, because in his word. All right. It says what? After that, it says every word of the most high is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Okay. That's why it says that's why uh, it, it tells you the name in the word because it's pure. It's the truth. And it even says uh, he's a strong tower. This Proverbs 18 and 10. All right. Or Proverbs 10. Uh, yep. The name of uh, Grand Puba. No, the name of Yahweh. See, I told you what that all um, Lord in all caps is, man. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. So you better say the name of Yahweh, man. It's the name of no goddamn whatever the hell they're about to tell you, man. Guys are fucking bugged out, man. And the Lord is going to deal with the ass, man. Fucking talking this madness, blaspheming the name of, the, of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Trying to uh, trying to mesh it with some names. They I don't know if he heard this in a dream. A demon came to him in a dream and told him these names. But it sounded like some shit that they, that they just made up, man. You know? some Something that, that, that these... Someone who... That's in the church, you know, they get touched by the past. They start shabba -la -la talking that, sh that that demonic talk. That's what they that's what those names sound like, man. <laughs> and we call the Holy Spirit, since nobody knew the name of the Holy Spirit, was a uh, uh, what Rakakwadash. Kakwadash. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham, Kakwadash. Which means the Most High in the name of the Lord in the name of the Holy Spirit. So the names that these men brought out, they were indeed true. What they were, and they denounced them and cursed them as demonic in front of the world. And you're about to see some real judgment, wrath, and destruction. Come on, those men that's back in Fort Worth that was uh, uh, once with us. And if you a brother that agree with them, and you feeling them for the moment, you better get the hell out of Dodge now. They messed up. Because we will tell you this day, the name of the Heavenly Father, the invisible God, is indeed a Grand Makamar. That is his name. What you've seen, our whole industry, our, our whole ministry, Everything that we do, how we've been able to cast out demons. Now, now, I, must, now, now I must say it now that, that we don't know the seven heaven name. No, I mean, these are names that's up to the heavens. No, it's saying, a heavenly name. No, right, you know what I'm saying? That's above us. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But we can get into it, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead and make the point. Right. He, he doesn't know the seven heaven names. What's the seven heaven names? What's that? What the hell is this guy talking about, man? He doesn't even know what this guy's talking about. These guys are just two, two demonic peas in a pot, man. All right? All right? And guess what? He said uh, that anyone who agrees with them or they're cursed or some matter. Well, guess what? I agree with what... If they said that those names were demonic, I agree with those guys. I agree I agree wholeheartedly with those guys because that those names are demonic those are not the names of the most high. Like I said, it sounds like when the Christian when the when those people in the Christian churches when they get when they get touched by the pastor. Grandma, grandma, what is it? Grandma, grandma, grandma Kumar or some shit like that. <sighs> Crazy, bro. 
<laughs> it's heavenly names. Yeah, it's bad. It's names bad. that's it's up to it's you. How we've been able to cast out demons. How that is his name. And, and the scriptures say that, oh, have we not cast out demons in your name and did miracles in your name? So these are listen. Let me explain something to you. Let me let me get let me get let me get the, let me get the scriptures. But let me say something, man. Because let me let me go back over here. Uh have we not be able to cast out demons? Um uh but um yeah the demons can deceive you into thinking that you're casting out demons the demons can deceive you into thinking the lord is working with you all right i'm telling you right now how do i know because in the world i had demons on me <laughs> so i know that the demons will confirm the madness of your mind Okay, the demons can confirm the madness in your mind. Like there was um there was a time. Man, it's like it. Give me a second, I'm gonna find it right now. Uh uh, uh there was a time where uh there, there was the guy who thought he was King David, one of these guys who thought he was King David. Um and uh and basically I'm gonna tell you, give me a second, man. Matthew 7, verse 21. Uh, okay, Matthew 7 and 21. I was looking for KJV online, but okay. This is Matthew 7 and, and 21. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, and they'll use the name, see, because they're still using the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, but those are, just the, those are just the earthly names. They're diminishing those names and saying that there's some other crazy names that you heard. Have we not prophesied in thy name? Did we use the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai too? And in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then, well, like they're saying they did. They're saying they cast out devils. And this, listen, the Lord could, the Lord uh, uh, can deceive them in that. The Lord could use the demons to deceive them, to be on somebody. They'll say a name, or the demon might act like he's off the person, or he might get off the person, just to keep these these niggas in a, just to keep these dudes deceived, because the Lord doesn't want them, doesn't want them. The Lord said uh, the deceiver and the deceived are His. Okay, it says, and then, well, I profess unto them. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye worker, you ye that work iniquity, man. All right. And I was gonna say there was a there was a dude, one of the dudes who you know all of, one of the many guys who think they're King David, you know, uh, that pop up and say that um that uh that said you know he he was doing a video, and he said something. He said um he said they was walking down the street. Or I think he got it on a video actually. He was talking to this guy and da da da. da. He was saying this and that, and he didn't tell him he was King David. Or he thought he was King David, and then um, basically the guy was talking to him. And then when he the guy left, he said he said all right, all right. Like he, I guess he kind of like did like a like a bow gesture, I guess, and said uh, all right, King, all right, King. And then he's like, oh, did you hear that? He called me King. Did you hear that? He called me King. So what was that doing? That was. Uh, further um, emboldening him in that in that deception in that delusion, okay. And that was a demon that that hopped on that guy to convince the demons in that guy. You know what I'm saying? So the demons are working together to deceive individuals, man. So they could make it seem like you're casting out demons. They could make it seem like the Lord is dealing with you. All right, that you're seeing things that's not there, that, you know, certain things, man. To give you certain dreams and, and, and you know, whatever. Even visions. All right. <laughs> oh, 
or what seems to be visions. Okay? Hallucinations, if you will. Just to keep you in a, del a deluded state because the Lord does not want you. And that's what's happening with these guys. The Lord is not wanting them. So they're in a deluded state, pushing out demonic names that the Lord did not did not um, command us to say or command. Or command. That's not the names at all. These are just these are just demonic names. The matter of fact, the Lord commanded us not to have the name of any other God in his mouth, in your in our mouth. They're, 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 they're violating that first commandment. What you saying, our whole industry, our, our whole ministry, everything that we do, how we've been able to cast out demons. Now, now, I, must, now, now I must say now that, that we don't know the seven heaven name. Now. I mean, these are names that's up to the heavens. No it's saying, a heavenly name. No, right, you know what I'm saying? That's above us. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But we can get into it, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead and make your point. Right. It's heavenly names yeah, yeah. that we're telling you. Yeah, yeah make your point. That's given to men on earth, like Moses, the apostles. This is how you cast out demons. So starting with the most high, Grandma Kamar, that is indeed his name. All right. The Holy Spirit. His name is Barbara. Barbara. The name of our Lord. Abarmento. Okay. That is his name. That is all of them. And yes, when you've seen our ministry, how we have been able to defeat all evil that come against it. Bob how you have been able to see what we have been able to do when it comes to foes like GMS, all our enemies, everything like that. These are the heavenly names that we have known of. Now, if you've ever paid attention to these men who have watched or who have been among us, but Mainly what I'm talking about is those two men from Fort Worth, from Royal and Rock Island, who have been captured by the demon Satan. Which Satan's name? We will tell you that as well. His name is Yah Dabaoth. Yah Dabaoth. That's his name. Yah Dabaoth. Yah Dabaoth. That's crazy, bro. You know, I had a brother, brother did a video. He says that there was yabba dabba do. And, you know, it's funny because that's what I was thinking about when I first heard it. Yabba dabba do. It's complete. <laughs> Anyways, but well, guess what? Yabba dabba do uh, got you, nigga. Spirits, man. Yabba dabba do got you. All right. And the heavenly name of the demon that has captured them is Paraplex. Which no, they causes know, they a know man even the name of the, the demon that captured them. The rage, curse, and slander innocent men. Now, this may be a lot to a lot of people, but at the same time, now you have heard it. It's a lot. It's a lot of madness. That's what it is. Anyways, you hear the, the, the crazy stuff that's, that, 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 that they're saying. Um, the oil is done. The oil, their oil is finished. You know? And these are the type of men that in that day, you know, of the the the, the foolish virgins who are going to uh, be looking at Matthew's five. Hold on. Right, they're going to be looking for the true men of the Lord. You know, Matthew's twenty-five. It says, um. This is Matthew 25 and verse 1. It says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto the ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom, which is Yahweh Shai. The bridegroom is Yahweh Shai. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. The five wise represent the elect. The five foolish represent guys like this who are just come, who are bugged out. They don't have the full truth. All right. They're blinded. They that were foolish took their lamps 
and took no oil with them. The oil represents the wisdom and knowledge, the Holy Spirit, ultimately. Okay, it says, but the wise took oil in their their vessels with their lamps, while the bridegroom tarried. They they all slumbered and slept, and at midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. All right. It says, then all those vir those virgins arose and trimmed their lamp lamps and the foolish. So when the Lord comes back, you know, uh, he's going to gather his elect. But right now we're preparing to meet him right now because what we, we know we have the oil. OK, we're prepared to meet him right now and we're doing the work. See, but they don't have the oil. All right. It says. And the foolish said. Unto the wise, give us, give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. See, because deep down they know they don't have it, and it's jealousy and envy why they're coming up against Great Millstone because they know the, the apostles and elders on down have the Holy Spirit on them, you know. So they're trying to resist, and they're trying to, uh, uh, you know, act like they're the guys, you know. But come on, you can see that they're not fully confident in what they believe in at the same time. You know, that's why they have to constantly be reassured by these demons. You know, it says, but the wise answer saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye after, go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. Okay, so it's gonna be too late. You know, they're gonna be looking for the men of the Lord, but that, that in other words, it's gonna be too late. Okay. We're not gonna be in this in the spirit of teaching you, man. The Lord said in that day, you know, he's gonna have our tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth. We're not gonna be in the spirit of teaching you in that day. And and the reason you're deceived and other men, the people that follow you were deceived is because the Lord doesn't want them. That's why any demonic, any kind of crazy, crazy doctrine that is spread, guess what? There's going to have a bunch of followers with it, all right? There's going to be a bunch of followers. There's going to be a bunch of people that go, oh, wow, that's deep. And those are just the, the, the lost souls, the lost souls that are that are not meat for repentance, man. You see what I'm saying? Go on their combo. They look, they're, the people are praising what they're saying now. Oh, wow, wow, that's so deep. I didn't know. The name was Grand uh, Grandmama uh, Grandmama Kumar, or whatever whatever they said, man. All right, I didn't know that. Yo, my gosh, the spirit is truly dealing with you, man. Because those are just, yeah, I don't even know, man. Those are just simple-minded. Those are zombies, man. Those are zombies, bro. Okay, just anything they say is they're just gonna follow. They're not. It's like they're not even looking for the truth. They're just looking to hear something new and exciting. <laughs> you know. The truth is pretty much, um, you know, it's kind of, it's repetitive, you know? They want to hear something new and exciting. Anyways, with that, Lord willing, this was Edifying to the Elect, and I'll say Shallow Wall.